the first and easy thing to do is pass a law saying none of our sheriffs, none of our police, none of our state law enforcement is going to work with them, communicate with them, or recognize any of their authority. If you do that, if you stop tax collectors, clerks of the court, county, cities, everybody from operating with them, communicating with them, you leave them in the dark. We need to do that immediately. I called to do that for the Capitol Police months ago. That's something that is a new idea in the Republican Party, but it's an obvious thing we need to do. The second thing is the much more controversial idea, and that's using nullification, using the Tenth Amendment to say if a federal agency is operating and performing so-called law enforcement functions, which is what they're pretending what they, it is that they did when they raided Mar-a-Lago, they have to gain state permission. If they do not do that, we should treat them as trespassers and arrest them. If the FBI is going to try to haunt uh, Donald Trump and arrest him at Mar-a-Lago, which I believe they're going to try to do in the next few months if we, if we don't stand up. We need to physically prevent these rogue federal agencies from doing that. And that means using our law enforcement. If we don't have agents that are willing to do that, recruit new ones, but use the state power against federal power. It's obvious. What separates what the FBI is doing now, uh, who I refer to as a secret police, from somebody like the KGB of the Soviet Union? I think what the FBI is doing right now is a step in in towards being just a straight up partisan police uh, power. I think a KGB or a government police that just seeks to haunt and harass the political opponents of the regime is what they're moving towards. They're already there. It started in 2016 when they spied on Donald Trump. But now it's at the point where they're executing raids. We all know what's coming next. They're going to try to come and arrest both Donald Trump and other Republicans that oppose what Joe Biden's doing. And if we don't stand up and fight back, then no, there is no significant difference between them and a a, a state police. 